Hey everyone, Patet Boy here, and welcome back to part two of the Jedi Master Luke Skywalker Unlock. Here I'm going to walk you through uh, tiers three, four, and five. Wow, four, five, and six, just real quickly. Let me break down everything uh, just briefly on what we're looking at unit-wise. So, Jedi Master Luke Skywalker, I believe, is 546 speed for me. He might be 544. Irrelevant. Have him over 500 speed, you're going to be fine. Mine's Relic 7. If you have him, I think it's just Relic, you're going to be fine. Old Ben, doesn't matter. He's like 230 speed. You, like 246 speed. Not even fast. I don't care. Her mods are irrelevant. Hoda is close to 300. Doesn't matter. They have my mods. I have not god modded them. It's just they're they're just they're just sitting with the mods that I've given them. That's it. That's all we got. And this Anakin sucks so bad. I think that said relic 10. Let me see if that did it again. It kind of glitched. Relic 100. <laughs> I don't even know what he is. He's garbage. Literal garbage. Literal garbage. 164, okay? First thing you should know about this. For tiers 4, 5, and 6, speed is not the key. It doesn't matter what you do. You really can't lose this as long as you don't play like a complete and utter moron and try all the different things that you shouldn't do. So let me make this very easy. We're going to do the KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid. Okay? Here we go. Just shut up, you two. Okay. So first we have the fake ults. This is not how his ult works. I hate that they do this. You don't get 100% charm meter when you use ults. So, we're not going to use this. Not yet. We're not going to use that, ever. We're not going to use this. No. Basic. Bob. Nido. Hit him in the face. Okay. Hit him in the face again. Okay. Hit him in the face again. Okay. Give him a healing immunity. Great counter. Thanks, buddy. You're done with the tier. Ta-da! It's that easy. It's stupid and boring and dumb. The reason you don't use his middle or third big Booma ability is because it removes turn meter. And when Kylo has turn meter removed, it just makes him a little bit thicker. It gives him 10% health and protection and added stacking uh, every time you remove turn meter from him. So, to avoid the stupidity of that, just use that ability from his ult, which is just a call to assist, and smash him, okay? This is literally the most brain-dead event. It's the same thing for this next tier. You'll see in a second. Okay. Ready? Ready. We're going to go do the fake ults again. This is not how the ult works. It's stupid. It makes me mad. This is not how it works. Okay. Cool. Hit him with a basic. That's cool. Thanks, Kylo. Hit him again. Okay. Hit him again. Okay. Hit him again. Okay, put a healing immunity. Very boring. And you're done. Stupid. Boring and stupid. And, for the information of the viewer who does not know, that ability with Jedi Master Luke's lead, that, that, that only exists when Jedi Master Luke is in the lead slot, we'll say, and that's his, his lead granted ability. It's kind of like Jedi Knight Revan's call to assist, but it's a little... I would say... Better for offense, worse for defense, because you don't recover near as much health and protection, but you do a percent of true damage based on how much max protection Jedi Master Luke has. So, it, it's just, it's a cool ability, you just use that, that's why his basics do so much, it's honestly disgusting. Just call Luke to hit a billion times, and he just smashes. So, again, nothing has changed, I've done nothing to my characters here, we're gonna go in again, it's the same stupid Anakin, same meh characters I've had. And the only thing that's going to change here is the way he interacts and the way they interact with him and the first move we use. Because now we want to use the Big Puma ability block. Because we don't give a crap about removing his turn meter or not now. So hit him. Call him to assist. Wham. Now, you'll notice Hoda just disappeared. Once you use an ability with the character, they're gone. So there's no point in putting a buff immunity. He's already got one. Give yourself offense up on Luke, okay? Now, call Ray. Whop. And you're done. There's the tier. Boom. Sometimes it takes longer than that. And then just use Ben. <laughs> and then put Ray's healing immunity on. And uh, then hit her with a basic again. And just keep using the basic. And it, uh, you're just done. It's so fast. Get a healing immunity on and you're done. That's it. It's the whole event. It's amazing how unremarkable the strategy is. But don't screw around. Uh, Kylo can ramp up quickly. I played around with it to the point where I could lose if I just kind of dicked around. But it, don't do that. Stick to the script. Make it work. 
and get your shards or your ult material, whatever we want to call it. But yeah, hope that made sense. Again, not great mods for people. The only person I super modded was Luke, because obviously he's a GL. I want him to be god tier. Uh, don't worry about anyone else's mods. Don't worry about their speeds. Don't worry about their damage. All of that is irrelevant. Just make sure you Luke is Relic, give it a stab, and uh, you should be totally fine. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, but if not, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.